Hey everybody, uh, Mike Kamen's here. Today we're going to have fun with oscilloscopes and synthesizers. Um, I have my vintage Philips PM3216 0 to 35 megahertz oscilloscope from the 80s. Picked it off of, uh, picked it up off of Craigslist for 20 bucks. I haven't calibrated it yet, but um, for the purposes of today's demonstration it doesn't have to be calibrated. I'm running the output of my Dope for Dark Energy Mark 1 into the into the channel here and the output is also split off into the jam box. So, here we go. Let's uh let's turn up so right now you can see I have it kind of initialized here with nothing really on. I have the VCO octave way up so that it doesn't cause flickering on the screen. And uh, pulse width is zero, and I'm going to start to turn up the pulse width. So that's at five. Now it's it's kind of interesting to note that um, because the dark energy mark one, the first arrow one used a triangle core oscillator, you can see that the square wave has a really neat, uh, you can see the remnants of a triangle wave in the square wave there. It's not exactly square. There's a little bit of a ramp up and down here on the, uh, on the high side. So I'm going to continue to turn this knob. That's at seven, eight, and it's nine. We've pretty much lost all sound. We're back to just DC at nine and ten. So now I'm going to turn it back down to zero and I'm going to switch it to triangle. And, and that's a beautiful triangle. What you would expect from a triangle core. Uh, oscillator. So as I turn this pulse width up you're gonna see the superimposed pulse width but with triangles. Actually let me... here we go. So that's at three, that's at four, we have a nice little church steeple. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're back to the, what was it? Zero. So if I go really fast from ten to zero, it's the same thing, same wave. All right. Now let's go to the ramp. Zero. We have a nice, nice ramp there. Let's turn up this pulse width. Is it seven, eight, nine, and ten? Really, nothing really starts kicking in until you hit two. It goes two to about eight on the knob there, and then you drop back to the original waveform. So let's go, let's get that square wave going again. And now, let's add some pulse width modulation. We'll do that from LFO2. We'll do triangle pulse width modulation, and here we go. That's kind of neat. Let's go back to our default here. Okay. 
Now, uh, let's do frequency modulation. That comes from LFO1. Atari game. The last cool thing to look at when looking at a synthesizer and oscilloscope is obviously its filters. So this has a low pass filter on it. Like I said, this is the uh, first generation dark energy. I'm just going to low pass it. This is with no resonance. And you can see we're going to get a nice sine wave there before it completely cuts out. But, interestingly enough, when you add some resonance, you can see it already starts to affect the waveform, but this is really cool to see. This is at five, uh, five resonance, and I'm going to start to turn on the low pass. So we're adding sine waves to it. So the noise is hard to get rid of it. There you go. Now that's that's at three and that's the resonant frequency. That's why that sine wave gets louder because that's the fundamental for the oscillator. So that's the so if I if I change it so I'm gonna set this so now I found the fundamental so we have very strong sine wave. I'm going to change the tuning. I'm going to turn this down again and you're going to see we're going to find the fundamental for that. There's the fundamental. Um, so if you want to make a really really nice sine wave sample get get your VCO tuned really well to like C and then Turn up the resonance on a on a low pass, and pass it until you get that nice, almost tube sounding. It sounds like a sine wave in a tube. That's when you hit the uh, the fundamental there, and then sample that and use that uh, as a nice sine wave. That's really great for making super deep sub bases. So now let's uh, turn this back up. I'll start to bring it back up here. Stabilize this waveform. There we go. And every time you see see this, yeah. every time you see it where we get a bunch of peaks, that's actually a harmonic of the fundamental that we're hitting because the resonance is way up. There's a harmonic. There's a harmonic. There's a harmonic. You kind of hear it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know? The last really cool thing to do is uh, just kind of go crazy with the LFOs. Let's, let's put the LFO in uh, frequency modulation. It's not like that Pink Floyd song. Messing with the resonance of the filter cutoff and the frequency modulation.
I could watch that all day. It's so trippy. <laughs> anyway. Fun with oscilloscopes and synthesizers. Thanks for watching.